Grand Prix for the 17th time. The ageless veteran is back for another roll of the dice. Mikey, how does Ernst beat Mighty Mo here tonight? I think, you know, the, the key here is Peter's experience. He's been here for so many, you know, for so many years. He's fought so many different fighters. Uh, you know, the key, mobility. Stay mobile, go after Mo's legs and body early on in a round. Tire him out. Once he gets tired, Mo tends to start dropping his hands, and that's when Mr. K1 goes to the head with his devastating head kicks. I still see this fight. If Peter Arts was to win, it would have to be by a judge's decision. I just don't see him uh, finishing Mo. his key to victory here. He needs to create angles, try to avoid the leg kicks from uh, Peter Arch, and try to deliver that overhand right. I see him winning this fight early on in a round. The longer the rounds go, the more less chances he has in winning. Mighty Mo, who brings in a kickboxing record overall of 16 and 11 with 12 knockouts. Peter Arch, who in the final 16 in Seoul, fought in his 100th career fight. And look at the conditioning. I mean, 40 year old veteran who made his K1 debut in the very first K1 Grand Prix back in 1993. And in Ertz's corner tonight, the man who won that Grand Prix, Branko Sigacic, and also reunited with the great Tom Harrick. Let's go up for the official ring introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our quarterfinal fight number one. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first to my right, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He stands 192 centimeters tall and weighed in at 107 kilograms. Here is the three-time K1 World Grand Prix champion from Holland, Peter the Dutch Lumberjack Orr. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner. He stands 185 centimeters tall and weighed in at 125 kilograms. Here is the K1 World Grand Prix 2004 Las Vegas champion and K1 USA Grand Prix 2007 champion from the United States of America, Mighty Moore. American Ma Samoan Mighty Mo, who came to Tokyo by himself without a corner crew, has enlisted Fife for Lemoy, the Golden Gloves boxer from Team Ichigeki in his corner here tonight. And what a moment there. Tom Harrink, who guided Peter Ertz the 1994 and 95 back-to-back -back K1 crowns, once again in Peter's corner, along with Branko Sikatik, Murad Bazidi, and all the crew. Mo comes in at plus 215, Ertz at minus 275. Yeah. It's quarterfinal number one. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan, King Mo Lawal with you. And Mighty Mo, as we expected, trying to bull rush Ertz early on to land those massive car batteries of hands. Ertz has got a sling to the legs. Mo's going to set the overhand right. He was the only man ever to knock out Hongman Choi with an overhand right at the Yokohama Arena in 2007. Peter Ertz, a gut-munching knee, belly button through the back as they tango into the neutral corner. Ertz, high kick off the lead leg. Mighty Mo with the left hook and he takes a groin shot. It is the most attacked groin region in all the world of fight sports, surely. 
is the groin of Mighty Mo. Still unrecovered from the Dream 13 fight against Josh Barnett. Surely, Mike. I was just getting ready to say, Mighty Mo must have a giant groin because he has yet to fight anyone who misses it. I mean, everybody goes through his groin. I think it is giant because he's got like 2,000 kids. Yeah, so right? It's, 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 it's got to be material. giant. They recommence here. A sling down Mighty Mo at 275 pounds, the heaviest man in this lineup here tonight. And Peter Rez ties him up and drills it. Double knee to the upper right rib cage of Mo. So far, it looks like the concept of staying away from uh, from Peter's kicks is what Mo is after, but just his execution is a little poor. He kind of bum rushes him and then ends up tied up where he can't do anything either. He needs to try to find a little more angles in his uh, in his attacks. Peter Rez, who comes up a fantastic extra round decision. We know the oh, the big combat! That was Ansemold! A high left round kick whipped around the back of the neck, and Mighty Mo went down! First knockdown. One more, and it's all over here. Cameron's finish. Ernst goes to the inside thigh, winds up the lead leg round kick again. And Mighty Mo tries to bull rush once more. Mighty's either still on the queer street or he's just really tired already. In the midsection, Trevor Ernst. Mo's going to be careful not to drop that right hand. Or else will thread the Mawashing Gary yet again. Hiding! Fantastic start here from Mr. K1, Peter Ernst. Jab overhand right by Mo. He caught nothing but air. Nice five punch combination. Oh, it's all over! It's good night, Irene! Peter Ernst, you crazy old man! You're through to the semis again! Wow, I mean, what a phenomenal performance by Peter. You know, he really did just about everything I said he did. He just did it with more conviction and really knocked out Mighty Mo. I mean, who would have thought that? King Mo, oh, wow, your first time! K1. Man, that was amazing. It was very amazing. Uh, you no, know, at least uh, Mighty Mo can to compete, but Peter Arch is just too much for him. Way too much. Peter Arch scores a first round KKO. Boom! To the side of the jaw, Mighty Mo going down for the first time. That was just Peter Arch of old, Mike with his trainer of old back in his corner. And my new theory might be coming alive here. Peter looks like this in his second fight. We might just see him in the final. And untouched, unscathed, and fresh Peter Ernst steps out of the ring. There you see the second knockdown of Mighty Mo. The old dog showing he still has plenty of tricks, Peter Ernst. As he becomes the first man through to the semi-finals. He moves in front of our 